Dear potential applicants for the integrated MTech program in computer science engineering and electronics and communication engineering in AAAT Bangalore as well as respected parents of those students who may be thinking where to get the admission for their words. Your decision is final. Wherever you take the admissions is good for your word and good for you. However, to help your thoughts where to take admissions and why, so I have thought of these small clips of video for you. In our campus, we offer an integrated MTech program both in CSE and ECE, which is a five years program where we confer with a BTech and MTech degree. This five years program, you must be thinking why five years, why not four years? BTEC program only. Let me think about MTEC later. So let me come to our BTEC program of four years of any institutions. I myself has done four years BTEC program, but what I found it is irrespective of any institute, most of the times it is more horizontal. That means you learn various subjects, but little, little from all the subjects with your fundamentals and maybe concepts. When you reach third year, you take your electives, and fourth year, you do your internship and some projects, and graduate out and join the companies. And it has been observed across the country that 95% of the students goes for job in the industry. And out of the rest 5%, around 2 to 3% goes by giving gate exam for MTEC, and also another 2% may be going for uh, nowadays startups. So having said that, let me talk about those 95% who wants to go to the industry. Indian industry, which was mainly focused towards service oriented, now moving more and more towards research and development, which we call as R&D. And also those big R&D industries are also sponsoring a lot of in-house startups or in the academia, some of those startups. So this R&D definitely looks at the good ideas or business ideas, but to solve that, they need deep technologies to, for any kind of applications or solutions. BTEC programs of four years definitely makes our base strong, but never makes us, except a few percentage of students, maybe 1% or 2%, Rest 98% or 97% of the student doesn't get an idea how to be innovative and how to self-driven for the research, for solving some of those new problems by themselves. So MTech programs generally helps them to read by themselves, by the help of the faculty members, and also strive themselves to solve some critical problems before they graduate out. And this helps them in the industry to be self-driven. So in this five years program of AAAT Bangalore, we have integrated the four years of BTEC and also master's program MTEC in a such a way the curriculum takes care of the fundamentals of the first two years and next two years their electives, so total four years. And the last fifth year, they can deep dive with their faculty member for some of the innovative and research problems which can be done in the, in the industry and help them in industry to grow. And these students doesn't have to again apply for after four years of programs for a, for a gate exams or MS exams like ZRE, uh, two years extra. So four plus two, six years of program in normal course, they can finish within a fi five years. And a student will have both undergraduate and postgraduate degree for the lifetime. So it has two advantages. One, you are getting undergraduate and postgraduate degree in the dual degree programs or integrated MTech programs in five years. And also you are learning how to be innovative along with your BTEC curriculums plus master's curriculum, both integrated. And in the, this I observed because in last four, four to five years when our own integrated MTech students graduated, 
they have been doing very well in the industry so every year the demands on the students to getting the job also increasing so this shows the our faculty members who have been done their phd from the top universities of the world their teaching process and the students working hard with them along in in the zeal to learn new things and to produce good projects help them a lot so this may help you to choose now or later why to do undergraduate and postgraduate with respect to the dynamics of the industry towards more on r&d than only on service industry which was predominantly there previously so wishing you all the best wherever you take the admission but keep it in mind that you learn the fundamentals and concepts and also learn by yourself along with the faculty member how to address a new problem by reading various research innovation ideas from the papers or the books or by the discussions in the labs for your future careers thank you again for your listening to this video and wishing you all the best for your life